Hello ladies, so today a little bit different like always and we're going to speak how to look elegant in the warmer climate. So I was talking a lot about um, how to look elegant when we're going countryside but I never actually thought about for, for those of you who are living in this um, countries when there's warm weather all year round, which you are lucky, <laughs> but um, never thought actually about um, how you how you manage all this, you know. And once I started doing my research, let me tell you, I feel like it's actually harder to dress in the warmer climate when it comes to elegance because you can't layer, you can't put a coat on top of you, you can't put extra jumper, you can't have a jacket all the time because it just makes you a little bit uncomfortable. So actually, I think wearing um, elegant clothes in a warm weather, it's a little bit harder and more tricky than when you're actually living, like I am in Scotland and I can always put some extra layer on top of myself if I want to look more chic. And you actually who are living, let's say, in Dubai, you're living in somewhere in Caribbean, you're living somewhere in maybe India or Philippines, then it's not the same because you can't really, obviously, you can't really layer up so much. And obviously, the time of the year that is going to be probably a little bit cooler in your um, your climate as well, but it's nothing to compare when it comes to, let's say, Poland in winter when you have minus 20 and really you need to have a proper jacket or somewhere in Sweden when you have even minus maybe 40. So I think this is going to be interesting subject to actually think about the warmer climate but from the not point of view of we're going for a summer, we're going to sit on the beach, we're going to be in resort but we're actually going to think a little bit more in the details of uh, when you're going to bank and you're still work, living and working somewhere when there is very warm and you need to go run your errands, you need to uh, go to your work. So those kind of things, they are actually, they matter. And there's a little bit different when it comes to living in a climate and just going for a holiday somewhere. When it comes to warm climate, um, you first, first rule, I think, it should be that you don't really want to be... Um, tight you don't really want everything to be super tight on you because that's going to make you uncomfortable but you want your clothes to be a little bit more loose so when it comes to dresses you want them to be more flowy you want the air to actually um, just circulate around you you don't want to feel that you are too tight you are too squeeze squeeze or squash and this is going to make you uh, sweaty even more so first thing we're going to concentrate are loose dresses and those loose dresses can be uh, long maxi uh, loose dresses which are very very uh, very very elegant and they can be a little bit shorter maybe not too short obviously because we still want to keep the classic and nice elegant look but um, make sure that they are made of good material like cotton like linen uh, more natural materials will be a little bit better for you but again, there are some good ma materials, like there, you can find a good polyester that it's still going to do their it job. For some of the ladies that they're living in the countries when there is maybe a little bit more strict, like uh, we were in uh, Dubai a few years back and obviously over there it's maybe not so strict, but if someone lives in Saudi Arabia, then obviously you won't be able to wear short dress anyway. You will need to have some kind of more respect for the culture. So longer dresses are absolutely fine, more like a loose, um, obviously. But um wanted to make a point here that I'm not going to focus on every single culture because it won't be possible to finish this video in 10 hours. But I just want to go like overall classic looks for any culture that are possible. But if there's something that it, you feel it's more like restricted in your country, then obviously you just need to adjust a little bit. But um, obviously the cultures are different. There's going to be different... Uh, style of dressing up in India, there's going to be a different style of dressing in somewhere maybe in Nigeria. So of, there are some kind of culture uh, outfit that's still going to be elegant for your culture, 
but um, I'm not going to focus on them. I'm just going to focus on the overall elegance, like more like a classic elegance for this kind of warmer climate, if you know what I mean. So something that you will be able to wear in Caribbean somewhere, um, Dominican Republic, somewhere on Cuba, somewhere in Portugal, maybe you go to Dubai. So these kind of things that you still will be able to wear uh, all around the world in this kind of warmer climate. So as I said, loose dresses are a must, I think. That's like your, you should focusing on the loose dresses because they're so easy to pull off. You can just put them on yourself, uh, choose a nice shoes, nice back, maybe add some kind of nice hat and that's you, you're ready to go. So there are things that obviously there are big pluses for you living in a warmer climate. I can't just go in a nice loose dress outside because I would freeze, but, um, as it comes to elegance, I think it is a little bit more tricky because you don't want to look um, very plain and you don't want to look flat. So when it comes to elegance, I think in a warmer climate, you need to remember to avoiding this kind of like a flat look. I mean, like you're going to just dress a, just wear a dress, nothing else. You're going to out, you're going outside and you're going to have obviously your shoes, your back and a dress, nothing else with you. So I think like this is a little bit more flat. So if you want you yourself to even upgrade more and look even better, I think you need to add extra elements. It can be jewelry, it can be, a, like I said, scarf, it can be beautiful hat. I think you shouldn't avoid um, hats at all. The hats are always going to upgrade you. And living in a warmer climate, think about this as you're really lucky as well. I can't wear a very, very beautiful, like a straw, even this kind of structure hats every day i just keep them for a summer time or somewhere when i'm going for a summer so you have this kind of advantage and you can actually invest in more hats and um, they're just going to upgrade you more but when you actually want to go out and just wearing dress shoes and back i think that's a little bit not enough if you really want to stand out and look very very elegant so focusing on extra elements is going to be important for you here. Another good idea for everyday looks are obviously trousers and you shouldn't absolutely avoid wearing trousers. Trousers can be perfect for work, perfect for running your errands every day. And again, I feel you need to choose more loose trousers than those kind of um, trousers that are like skinny jeans, for example, or skinny, some kind of trousers or cigarettes, you know, those are going to be too tight for you. I think you need to invest in more those kind of beautiful, flowy again, uh, wider trousers. And they are very, very chic and very, very classic. So um, you can't really go wrong with them. You can go for white, which is obviously classic and in a warmer climate, I think uh, white trousers, this is something a must really, and not only one pair, but more maybe different textures, but obviously not too heavy one, but um, white trousers is really first thing you should invest. And then uh, matching those trousers to different, uh, maybe colorful tops, you know, you don't really need to be scared of colors. I think in a warmer countries, um, when there's warmer climate, the color is actually, the color is actually um, elegant as well. It's maybe not so, I don't want to say that it's not elegant in, in countries when there's cold, but when it's cold, you don't try to wear so many maybe yellows and all this kind of, those kind of very summery colors. But when it's warmer climate, I think the yellow, the pink, the red, those kind of colors are going to be like very alive, very give you this kind of that you are just, uh, you know moving and living your best life and there's uh, a lot of going on and they are very positive colors as well so this kind of stronger colors are perfect for warmer climate so yes wider trousers uh, are absolutely a must as i said again white is perfect idea black beige those kind of like a free basic colors which are elegant everywhere and then you just matching maybe more colorful tops and just want to say as well that very bright colors are perfect for a warm climate because they don't bring so much sun. So if you're going to wear all black, the sun is going to attach to you stronger and you're going to feel warmer much quicker. So wearing bright dresses, bright trousers, bright jumpsuits, everything, this is going to just 
first of all, compliment you because bright colors are elegant. And second of all, you're not going to feel so warm. Okay, so next thing I think, next thing I think um, are jumpsuits. And I think, I think again, <laughs> that they are really, really perfect for a warm climate. Again, different kind of length possible, very long one for a more elegant look, shorter one for a more casual look. It's all up to you, obviously, where you're going, what you're going to do. Different colors, obviously, possible, more like stronger colors if you want to stand out from the crowd. Um, pastels and darker colors more for the evening I would say but absolutely absolutely great piece of uh, garment which is very easy again like a dress because you just put it on you just add some kind of elements to it and you're ready to go so when it comes to warmer climate as I said you need to choose a diff you need to think about material one of the best material for you it's going to be linen and linen can be basically anything it can be top it can be dress it can be jumpsuit again it can be a, it can be a trousers it can be shorts if it's very very warm and you know you're not going to work you're just going to focus on some things maybe around the house or sitting in the garden um so linen is really really good option for you so when it comes to warmer climate i also think that it's more suitable in warmer cli climate countries than in the cooler countries that you can actually show a little bit more skin and what i mean i mean that you don't want to obviously go super super uh, short dress and you're going to show everything what you have over there but i mean you can show a little bit more back um, which is very very sexy way of showing your skin because back is very sexy and sensitive of a woman woman's body you can uh, show like even half of the back there are this kind of beautiful dresses as well you can show a little bit more legs still choosing let's say longer dress but a beautiful like split um, into it and this way you can show your legs even when the split is quite high uh, you can show maybe some of the parts of your body like on the side you can have this kind of interesting cut so i feel like those kind of uh, outwear and all those kind of dresses jumpsuits again all those kind of uh, things you're going to wear and they have a showing a little bit more of your body it's still going to be absolutely elegant because you are in the warmer climate and i think you not necessarily would look super elegant if you go outside of the street and you wouldn't have your back like you would have a very deep back cut it wouldn't be so elegant here in scotland for example because it would just look out of place so i think for those of you who like to have a little bit more um, showing a little bit more skin then it's absolutely fine to do it with good taste but i think you can still do it because i think this warmer climate um, if your culture obviously accept that um, allows you to do that as i mentioned before the next thing what you should invest are hats and having those kind of maybe floppy hats uh, or more structured hats but um, this, apart from hats you can wear like headbands which are very very nice and elegant as well um, and those basically are like the basics but obviously you can find the scarves or anything else you like okay ladies so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this subject it was very interesting to actually think about this that in different cultures there are different types that are clothes that are more elegant or they are less elegant and some of them some of the rules are not allowing you to wear everything but i just feel like it's good to um, sometimes change and weather obviously is different in different parts of the world which makes uh, everything so interesting and elegant uh, fashion even more um, you know interesting as well so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please leave it a thumbs up